So now we have to go all the way back down along the road to Lyrdal. Okay. Go on for a while. Let's run it. Let's see. Uh, almost to the bridge. Almost to the bridge. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go cross country. It'll be a little bit shorter. Uh, if you look up at my mini, mini, my mini map is what I'm trying to say. You can see four different uh, waypoint markers on it. I've gotten them marked for the entrance to each of the cities in the center of Bastion. Uh, green is Liradel, blue is Wintermist, red is Trivios, and purple is Bastion. Now, right now, though, the Bastion and Trivios uh, markers seem to be almost on top of each other because from this point, they're almost both in the same exact same direction from each other. So let's just keep going. We've got a mountain here to our right. So we'll go to the north a little bit further before we start heading west again. Or sorry, not west, east. Yeah, you can already see the road right there. There we go. Okay, so here we are. Here's the entrance. Getting real close. Okay, so right up smack dab the very beginning of Lyradel, which, by the way, again, has working gates just like pretty much everywhere, everybody else. You have this massive wall. That's kind of a watchtower up there. And the entrance to Lyradel, Lyradel, the gatehouse itself, is called the Leaf Gate. And there's a specific reason. It's because of the pattern on the road here. It's very leaf-like. Now, Lyradel is kind of a straightforward city. It's built in uh, five tiers, uh, and it's pretty much a straight drive all the way back. Now, very first off, you have the first of three neighborhoods uh, on the first tier. First tier is mostly housing. So you have the first of three neighborhoods right off to the right here. And you already have somebody living in a, in a number of these houses. Uh, a lot of that, the housing is kind of interspersed both in, in size and uh, style. Everything that is like almost entirely wooden is oakborn style. And the stuff made of the, the smooth sandstone, or in this case, the sandstone bricks, uh, and the, the leaf roofs and birch trees, that is Aerithal style. And we do have quite a number of houses here. This is obviously one of the larger ones. I'm not going to go into all of them because there are too many different styles to, to go through, too many different model houses to go through. However, I will take a brief walk through this neighborhood Here's another house that's already taken. This one is the residence of Wes. He is pretty much our banker right now. He's the banker in Lyrdell. He actually took out a loan against the Oath Keepers in order to start up a bank. Now you can see some houses are bigger than others. Some are smaller. We've got a nice little neighborhood here. Plenty of houses interspersed. Some seem to be missing doors for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe they were beaten down by zombies. I, I don't know. There shouldn't be any zombies in the city or anything. Here's another house that's been taken. This one is the Home of Arcus. We've got another fairly large house this way. Another small one there. So again, this this is a very nice little neighborhood here. And Lyrdell is called the Garden City for a reason. I mean, it's filled with gardens. Now, back over this way, we have a forest here, which will eventually be available for more housing should the denizens of uh, Lyrdell ever need it. Uh, but back over here, you have the Henge in the middle of this lake. Now, this is basically a uh, pre-shattering ruin. It's actually, uh, according to lore, it dates back to even before recorded history. It dates back to before the the uh the first crystal was was ever found so this is the henge it's uh nice little ruins here that you've got a dormant large dormant birch tree in the center here it's kind of lit up on the base this is a nice little spot in in the the area let's go back out across this lake here and and uh well let's let's go back to to that neighborhood there we go. There we go. Now we're back out of there and through the forest. Nice little forest. Now this was a man-made forest. 
you can kind of see by the, the wavy lines on my mini map. Oh, we've got more people over there. Anyways, yeah, this house, when it was pasted in, the uh, it was rotated about 180 degrees, so a lot of the upside down uh, stairs kind of got wonked out of place. And there is pine wood here for some reason. That should not be pine wood. That should be oak wood. Anyways, this might be somebody's house. Yeah, it's somebody's house, but for some reason I can't see who. Anyways, uh, uh, we'll go this way. I don't particularly want to uh, uh, encounter people in RP with them right now because this is more about the tour itself than RP. I can always save that for, for other things, but if they stop me, I'll go ahead and stop. Now, this big tower over here, this spire, this is the lighthouse. Now, we used to have a working lighthouse, but then it got torn down and, and replaced. Now, I want to get across to the other side here for a specific reason. Now, this large building right here, if I can get to the entrance to it, I believe it's over this way. I'm going to go through this little patch here real quick. This big area is the military barracks for when Liradel has a standing uh, military, a standing army. And it, it's kind of empty right now. There, uh, it, it is empty right now. I assume it will be decorated and everything as soon as there's a standing army. But this is basically the military barracks and, and, and so on. And over this way, I'm just going to cut through here again. We have a few more houses. This isn't necessarily a proper neighborhood or anything, but just a few more houses. And then this building with a stone roof is actually a warehouse. Because as you can see here, we have the dock, the, the, the harbor area with a nice little elven ship, kind of more traditional ship as well. But an elven ship with a slanted uh, uh, beams for the sails. And believe me, it took forever to make Red Sky understand what I was wanting for, for that. Because he's the one that actually built the ship. He built the sails. But he, for some reason... Whenever I, I tried to tell him that the, the beams holding on to the sails should be slanted, he, he just wasn't quite understanding me. So in order to get it right, I, I almost had to build the, the, a prototype for the beam for him. So anyways, we have here, this is supposed to be a large warehouse. It, it's kind of empty right now. And we've got another warehouse over here. And this one might actually have stuff in it. I believe it's already been taken over. Yes. Liradel Public Storehouse. Entry prohibited. I'm just going in real quick to show it to you guys. There's really not all that much right now. I don't think. There might be on the third floor. No. Nothing in the attic. Whoa. Why are there cows right there? That is really, really weird and awkward. How did those cows get there? I mean, I did, did they just decide they, they wanted to come in here, sit on a fence, and just stare at people who are in here when they shouldn't be? I, I don't know. Anyways, let's get back out of here. Let's go ahead and close that. And there. Okay. So, back out and along the road here. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So, along the road, uh, we've got a few of these interesting arced fountains here. Uh, they, they're kind of partial arcs with a full arc and then a, a, another partial arc. We've got more stuff over here. We'll go this way because across this bridge here, I believe, is another one of the neighborhoods. We've got a nice little uh, uh, bridge here. Now, this, this place is supposed to feel very elven because it, it's lived in by the Arathal and the Oakborn, and the Arathals basically are our elvish race. They're, they're very much like elves, especially high elves and, and so on. So it's supposed to be very beautiful and, and stuff. Now, what is this? This is Liradel Docks Warehouse. Okay, so this is an actual proper warehouse. Uh, if you join our store community, you must be client to any rules put in place. Ask a member of the prices per chest. Buy one now. Have a wonderful day. Let's go ahead and see what's back here. Uh, let's see. List of buyers, items in their spots, cost of a chest. 
I'm just going in here because a lot of these buildings I haven't actually been in yet. So yeah, here we have a full and proper warehouse. Which I don't have I'm not gonna have access to any of the chests, so I'm not even gonna bother looking. Not to mention I probably shouldn't do that anyways. There we go. Okay, now again. Basically along here is is one of the uh, another one of the neighborhoods. We've got some smaller houses. There's plenty of room for more housing if we need it. So this is one of the less uh, yeah, one of the smaller neighborhoods. And again, we still have plenty of room for more housing. You can see the road kind of dead ends here. So before that that one forest is ever broken into for housing, I fully expect these other neighborhoods to be to be pretty much jam packed as much as that as that first one is. So if we get back out, you you can actually see leading from the wall of second tier here, a nice little uh, uh, fountain thing, going down into the river, crossing another bridge. That was the last bridge we were on. And it, continuing straight that way will take us to the second tier. But this way is the third neighborhood on the first tier. And this one, I, I actually kind of like a, a specific feature about it. There's a uh, uh, right over this way. You've got kind of a little square area, a little town square area with a nice little interesting fountain here with uh, stairs and, and so on. It's really interesting. And this one seems to actually be fairly populated. I mean, you've got two, three, if not more of the houses here. Daniel Gutry, Maximus Paulus, who is basically the head of Liradel's military right now. He actually just recently got control of Fort Brightsteel. I'm sure if you've seen the uh, recent videos for the last summit, you'll see those there. Here we've got Home of Ptah, Teldiat. And again, more... Uh, more improperly rotated uh, upside down stairs revealing pine logs that should not be there. So anyways, let's go up to the second tier. And the, the second tier is pretty much the marking, mark, uh, market district of Liradel. You can see already the airship dock. So along the second tier is a whole bunch of shops and uh, they're almost all entirely in the uh, uh, Arthal uh, style. You've got a whole bunch of different stalls and everything. This is the sandstone brickery. Or sorry, this is the the forge, Kless's forge. This is an actual blacksmith. This is an, an actual smithy. Uh, so this is a, a full and proper forge. And there's even an area up in here for the uh, uh, for the blacksmith to live if you really want it. It looks like he's just using it for storage right now. So I'll go ahead and get out of here. Now, eventually he'll probably put more stuff into it. He really should not have pulled that up. I, I don't know why he did that. He should not have done that. It, it should be pretty much an identical building to this one which is in the Oakborn palette and this is the sandstone brickery which is currently non-operational eventually this will probably be a server shop where you can buy sandstone bricks like it, it, it's processed uh, stone blocks sandstone bricks uh, clay items so bricks and, and stuff like that as well as circle stone which is kind of a decorative ornamental stuff and uh, whoever whoever is running this forge, Kokel or, or whatever his name is, I think it, Kless, I think it is. I really wish you hadn't doubled this up. I don't know why you did that. Really, what you should do is is use that to display your wares or something. You use that to put up signs for for displaying your wares. Maybe set up more forges and, and so on there. I just I don't I don't really like the fact that you've altered the building like that. Uh, Again, it you own the building now, so really it's up to you to do with it as you please. But what happened here? What is going on there? That is odd. 
Oh, I see what happened. Somehow the the two leaf blocks that were there uh, despawned. I need to feed. I need to eat. Okay, so we've got again a lot of shops and stalls around here. A lot of stalls. Very large market. 